It is Monday, February the 19th, 2024. I am James. You are you. We are here for episode 472 of the show that won't go away. Prior to tonight, 471 episodes. So many topics. A few of them, yeah. Yeah, we've repeated a few topics. Some of them are seasonal. Some of them are annual. Some of them are just so nice that we had to do it twice. But it took up to 472 to finally have an episode about chips. We've done chocolate. We've done cookies. It's about damn time that we add the third C to the mix. We're talking chips. Potato. Corn. Tortilla. You name it, we're talking about it. I'm fired up. I'm amped up. I'm ready to go. Currently 10 minutes past the 9 o'clock hour. For almost 40 years, we have been advertising this show to start at 9. Guess what? For about three and a half years, it never has. Guess what? Never will. We've got a panel to discuss everything related to chips tonight. So if you're out there wondering who's on this darn show, I'm about to let you know in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let us welcome tonight's chip panelists. First and foremost, coming to us from the Dave Cave otherwise known as his basement. It's the co-pilot. It's the co-host. But in my heart, he's the side piece, Dave Kaufman. Hey. Dave, you were shooting hoops before the show. It got the blood pumping. You're raring to go. How you feeling tonight? Feeling pretty good, James. But I just realized the frames were a little bit off. So I'm just adjusting frames. I knew something had to be off. I was talking to you. Your eyes were off screen. I thought... Two things might be happening. One, you're getting trolled in the chat. Two, your stock options are plummeting. <laughs> but now we find out that despite us joining this production call 15 minutes before going on air, somehow the frames were botched. So let's keep things moving. <laughs> Coming to us from what looks like a Simpsons universe, but is actually a real life living room background. Sarah Ellis. Sarah, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm excited. I love chips. Now, I saw I saw you prior to the show. I said, is this a real background or Zoom? You touched some stuff, but now I'm back to thinking it might be Zoom. No, it's it's my living room. <coughs> Pillow could be real. The rest, I'm skeptical of. Coming to us from the real Simpsons background, it's the one and only Marilyn. Marilyn, how are you tonight? I'm great. So excited about this topic. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. You're the wild card because you've discussed in in short length chips on this show. You like some freaky, funky flavors. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is anyone else turned on right now? Like this. Dave, let, let's go back to you. Clearly a guy that loves a bag of chips. <laughs> I don't know about clearly, James. I just want to do an update on the frames. Yeah. They're good. <laughs> All right. Well, crisis has been averted. Yeah. Dave, let's get back to it. Mm -hmm. Clearly a guy that loves a bag of chips. I don't know about clearly, James. I would what are you talking about? I could say that I'm clearly a guy who's the spitting image of good health. Well, I wasn't making any type of assumption based on your appearance. But yeah, I like chips. All right. Do you love them? I would say I love them, yeah. I'm in love with them. Before we get into it, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 James being the least, 10 James is being the most, mm -hmm. how much do you like chips? I'm going to say 7 Jameses. 7 Jameses. Sarah, let's go to you. How okay. much do you like chips? 1 in and 10. 8. 8. Yeah. It's a lot of Jameses. Might be a couple too many, according to some. Marilyn, let's go to you. Ten! Ten one... Jameses! I knew it! Ten Jameses! Okay. Marilyn, I want to start. What is it about chips that makes you call for ten Jameses? <coughs> I... Easy, Dave. Easy. Come on. 
I am obsessed with crunch. <laughs> I like the crunch. Yeah. I it's a texture that I want to reproduce at every meal. Mm. It's very hard to. Okay, so overall you enjoy crunchy food. Mhm. Mm okay, so if you're having steamed vegetables, not too steamed, you want the crunch. Yeah, but it's not the same crunch. It's like the the crackle of the crunch like for me there's nothing that really has top chips really. Well, do you like cereal? I do not because it's sweet. Okay. What about crunchy okay, peanut butter. So, but I do like it's true. I do like the crunch. I do like the crunch, but it's just I don't like sweets though, so it kind uh, of ruins it. Dave, uh, you you snuck in really under the radar with Yeah, that what question. I missed it sounded, that. It sounded a little perverted um tonally only, Dave. I want to throw to you your question from Marilyn. Uh, what about crunchy peanut butter? Yes, I like that. Okay. So, Marilyn, you like chips because of the crunch. Sarah, I want to go to you. You gave it 8 on 10, Jameses. Yeah. What is it about chips that you like so much? That you can that you can just eat a, a, a million of them. You just a eat a bunch. A million chips. In one sitting, you can just have, like, a whole bag, and I don't feel bad about that. How do you feel about Marilyn's uh, like of them? The crunch, the consistency. Yeah, there's a crispness that's hard to get at with, like, home cooking. Mm. Like, something that's fried. Like, I'm never going to fry anything at home, like, deep fry anything. Mm. What but about peanut chip, butter? I, I do <laughs> like peanut butter, but I prefer smooth peanut butter, not the crunchy. Okay. I don't like when there's bits in the peanut butter. <laughs> I've got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, what is 10 Jameses for you? If chips are only 8 Jameses, is there a food that's 10 Jameses? Yeah. Ooh, shit. A food that's 10. Well, we're not going to stay on this too long. It's a chip no, episode. This is a throwaway question. You could throw it uh, in the trash afterwards. No. Uh, probably like ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream is pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay. Hold on. New episode idea, food tournament. <laughs> that would be hot. Dave, you gave seven on ten, Jameses. What is, I mean, you're clearly a guy that likes chips. What is it about, <laughs> what is it about chips you like so much? I mean, uh, what other people have said, uh, they're uh, crunchy, mm -hmm. they're crispy, they're salty. Uh, you can attach another kinds of flavor on them. You can okay. dip them in something. Yep. Um, like crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, you could dip them in crunchy peanut butter for a double crunch, James. Um, but I would say that they're not great for you. So that's why I'm deducting three Jameses. Okay, so wait. So you're going down now to four? No, I'm starting at ten. And I'm deducting Oh, you're three. starting it? Okay, understood. All right, so let's get into it. I've got a couple topics here written down, but we're going to keep things very fast and loose. What I want to start with right away is regular potato chips. Starting the topic off, just very, very simple. How do we feel about regular potato chips? And if we like them, what are our favorite regular brands? <coughs> Marilyn, I want to start with you because you look like you're in deep thought. And I know you like the freaky, funky flavors how do you feel about regular and or natur? I just want to say that I was concentrating because I sent a picture to Dave on Facebook and I hope we could show it later. Okay. But just keep that in mind as a as something for later. All right. Okay. In terms of I'm going to add a layer to my thing with chips when we talked about these like mm -hmm. plain flavors. Layer dip. I, I, cannot, I only like ruffled chips. Okay. So, even plain needs to be ruffled. What's okay. the real word for that if it's not the brand name? Is it still called ruffles? I, th I think, I think the brand is, is ruffles. Sprinkle. People usually call like, any type of generic or, or other, because other, uh, I think the, the general term is ripple. Oh, ripple. Yeah. But everyone just calls them ruffles in the way that everyone will maybe generally call a cola. Can I have a Coke? Mm -hmm. Even if it's a Pepsi, I'll have a Coke. Now, when it comes to I want to, to say the... sorry about my Simpson. I'm turning into no. zombie Simpson. No, don't my... worry about it. There was yeah. there was a Treehouse of Horrors, a zombie Simpson. So, the regular ruffle, as far as I'm concerned, is the best tasting regular <coughs> chip. 
So it sounds like me and Marilyn agree. Sarah, let's go to you. Regular chips. Uh, Lay's. I like. I know. I know. Mark I... Messier says you can't eat just one. No, they're delicious. But I know I said that what I liked about chips was that they were deep fried, and I'm not going to do that myself. But I really like the oven baked Lay's. The uh, uh, you know what I'm going to say right now. Oven baked Lay's superior to the regular Lay's. Now, Better. I think I think when all of us we're all generally within the same age group. Lay's was the potato chip, I think, of the yeah. 90s. <laughs> what, what, Dave, you sound like, Dave, what are you thinking over here? Of the 90s? <laughs> yeah, Lay's was the potato. I'm making a claim right now. Okay. Yeah, it, there were more ads. It's true. I haven't yes. seen Lay's yeah. ad in a you long time. You can't eat time. just one. Oh, yeah. You'd get the bags for Halloween sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now I... I I'm getting really fired up right now, so I'm trying not to go off on too many tangents. I always preferred a Humpty Dumpty, but oh. that's neither here nor there. But hold on, hold on. But this is this is what I'm getting at. They were crinkled. They were crinkled too, Humpty Dumpty, the, some of them. The Lay's potato chips, too brittle. They're too thin, too brittle, too greasy. Versus the Humpty Dumpty? Well, look, Humpty Dumpty barely even a thing anymore. My friend, I'm just talking currently now. What though? This is a roundabout way of saying in the 90s, it was the chip of the 90s. Disagree if you want to, but now as we've moved into uh, the 2020s, so many other chip brands have overtaken Lay's as kind of the default chip. As a uh, Dave has just uh, left, I don't know what's going on. He, I knew he was Humpty leave. has fallen, has yeah. fallen off the wall. <laughs> yeah, we have breaking news. Humpty Dumpty has fallen. On the topic of like regular brand potato chips, I'm going to throw another one to the mix. <laughs> Miss Vicky's. Or could we even call the uh, the kettle cook a regular chip? Does it count as regular? I think so. I'm all over the map right now. Well, when you say regular, salt. you mean plain, right? Just like plain, plain. We're just we're going plain right now. Mm -hmm. The plain salted Ms. Vicky's are good. I like how they get curly. They have a I lot of. I love when chips oh. curl. You, Marilyn, how I, do you feel? I feel that I do not like plain chips because I feel they're too salty. Like okay. I taste the salt a lot more than than the kinds that I like that are flavorful for some mm -hmm. reason. So I think I don't. I'm not. But I Miss Vicky's. Maybe I'm a bit partial to those. Well, bit. they also make kind of the fifty percent less salty ones too. Oh, which to me make them fifty percent less fun. Mm. I don't think I've ever had those. My... Dave, Dave, I want to, I want to, I want to address what happened. Where'd you go? Oh, this guy's falling apart. No Humpty Tumpty fell. All right, so Dave is leaving the show. <laughs> Dave is leaving the show. We are now in a three shot. This is unprecedented. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just James and the ladies. Um, okay. And chips. Yes. Oh, what a, that what would about... be the best evening ever, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving this. It's very unpredictable tonight. Now, coming in from the chat, the real Andrew Mackay wrote, quote, looking forward to what will surely be a spicy and controversial at-home episode. It's already a little bit controversial because someone left the show. We don't know why. Are there any other regular chips that come to mind? Because I'm going to throw one in. They don't make them anymore. Jean Coutu brand regular chips. I loved like personnel brand? Or no, 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 no. They were Jean Coutu brand, and now they have they're discontinued. Never had them. I loved them. What about Yum Yum? Oh. That's that's a classic Halloween mini bag of chip, and I I love the Humpty Dumpty. I miss the Humpty Dumpty. Mm. What about the um, there's Old Dutch. This is interesting because Old Dutch is out there, but I don't like them. Too greasy. They're um they're a nothing chip. They like dissolve. Oh, a nothing chip. Oh, I want to know what you guys think of Pringles. I was about to bring them up, Sarah. Thank you so much. 
another chip of the, you know, the 90s, maybe yeah. a little bit more synonymous with the 80s. I like Pringles. But Marilyn, is it say again? Is it even a chip? Pringle is a chip. Well, it's kind of like the oven baked Lay's. Yes. I feel it's pressed potatoes. So I, I'm down with that. I kind of like that texture. It's like so yes. many people don't like it because it just melts in your mouth. But there's a crunch, but then the melt. Yeah, mm. there is a melt. Now, I know that I was, you know, saying some not so kind things about Lay's, but has anyone had Lay's Stacks, their version of the Pringle, which I think might be better than the Pringle? Ooh. I don't know about better, but I do like them. They're very good. They're good. Now, here comes one way out of left field. Does anyone remember Munchos? Yes! You want to talk about dissolving in your mouth yes, and turning into a fine puffy. slurry? Yes. Oh, I like those. I believe you can still find them at the Dollarama. They might be a Dollarama exclusive. What was it? It's just air. Are they puffed up? Like what? Yeah, was I think they're a little... Bubble of, yeah, it's, it's almost bubble. like... Yeah, they were thin but puffed. They were more like, I don't know, a popped chip. Mm. But isn't there also like a, a puffed up version of Lay's as well? The popper. Yeah, like the popper ones. They look like waffly. Yeah. Is that yeah. potato? I think so. Or is it kind of spongy, kind of like a um, like a Cheeto? Oh, like a corn thing? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I think I think we've done what we're going to do with the regular now. I want to move on. Favorite flavors. Now, this, this can be wide open. Favorite flavors, Marilyn, we know you're going to get freaky, funky, and wild. I want to start with you. Marilyn, favorite flavors. Okay. I want to start another subject at the end of my answer, but I might start Fine. it right now. Because one flavor that I love is... <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Are Ringolos? Ringolos okay. are like you know. I want to put it out there. Ringolos are very interesting because of that shape and the crunch is very fun. And I do love that flavor. For me, Ringolos equal road trip. I actually never <laughs> buy them for home. They they are just for road trips. This is how I hold back. I'm I'm struggling with this because is a Ringolo a chip? Well, it's like a wheat product. Is it? It's. I don't is think. It, no. Are, are they potato? Yes. Oh, I thought they were like wheat. Like I a, don't think so. I will try to look this up, maybe, but I'm pretty sure it's potato. I, I want for however many people might be watching in the chat is a ringolo a chip. Chip. Okay. Well, that's it. I knew that would be controversial, so let's put it. I there. love it. I want the hot takes. Yeah, that's why we started with you. I love that flavor. Okay. And like oh, I said, it's the, a it's the only... smoky barbecue ringolo. Uh, it's a great crunchy snack. Yes. All right. But my favorite chip flavor, and now it's been the same one for the past year since this uh, flavor came out, is the Kettle brand habanero and lime. Yes. I am fully obsessed with this thing, like a little too much. It's it's a problem okay. actually. I will okay. Say so it's a problem. Uh, I I I want I want to I want to table something here. What if instead of going favorite flavors i want to veer down the pathway of let's just say we're going to talk about kettle cooked chips now cuz they miss vicky's made kettle cooked blow up mm -hmm. there's generic brand kettle chips now there's the kettle brand there's also what is it that covered bridge that's another mm -hmm. kettle brand canadian i think mm -hmm. okay let's talk about kettle cooked chips there's another canadian brand from the west called um Couch, no, cou no couch potato. I think that's their slogan now, but I okay. forget what they're called. But I don't like those. All their okay. flavors are are weird. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't like the uh, I don't like selection brand kettle chips. Too greasy. Are are the Cape Cod chips kettle cooked? Cape Cod. You know what? Okay, now that our main researcher Dave has left the show, we don't know what happened. He seemed alarmed. We hope everything's okay. I want to check in on the Cape Cod. Marilyn, you're a fan of Kettle. I'm curious to know, how do you feel about Miss Vicky's? When the, I think when the jalapenos one came out, like that, that, that was, was the big one. 
that was big. That was big. And that changed a lot of things for my chip loving. So I think they started it, but none of the Miss Vickies are crinkled. And no, that... I, I, do, do they not have, okay, no, I am thinking, I'm thinking of the kettle brand because they have a couple, a couple crinkled versions. Okay. Cause I think Miss Vickies have no crinkled ones at all. Okay. I take so it that, back. That changes everything for me. And yeah. now there's even the, you know, the extra crunchy. Crinkled. Oh yeah. Well, Ruffles also has extra crunchy, which I think is their kind of like slight foray into kettle cooked. I don't know if they're trying mm. it. I find them too hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> too tough. Uh, but I like that actually. But also the bread, the the flavors that they had, I think I had the ketchup one and mm -hmm. I was disturbed by that. I think the ketchup yes. and the crunch like bothered me. But if it was like a flavor that I like better, I would be into it a lot more. Yeah, and it's it's a it's weird that um Ruffles couldn't nail a ketchup flavored chip because ketchup, got it, what a, a classic Canadian flavor. It's every kid's favorite chip. Kids yeah. love ketchup. Sarah, I want to go back to you. The Miss Vickies. Do you have any Miss Vicky All-Stars? Um, I also really, the jalapeno is what got me into it, but I really like the honey mustard. Um, and, and that's have, one of the more, that's one of the more new flavors. Yeah, I quite, I, yeah. I really like that one. And they have um, like a, like a peppery one. The the black pepper black lime. lime, yeah. Yeah, that, that might be on my Mount Rushmore. Yeah, that's fucking the good. The black pepper, their their all dressed chip is great. I haven't I'll had tell that you one. what, I, I want to like the the dill pickle one so bad, but it's spicy, and I find the Miss Vicky spicy chips. I can't handle them. It's too much for me. Ooh, baby, don't come into my kettle ban habanero and lime because, <laughs> woo. So they come with some heat. Oh, good heat, baby. Yeah. Oh my but god, freaky. Yeah. funky it's getting uh warm in here but wait you said that miss vicky's had an all dressed yes I, i've never seen that is I, that I, still I'm around i'm fairly certain it's called all dressed up what yeah. i have never seen that either. they're great they're great yeah. oh and then i think now they're rolling out into stores they okay, also, so they also have, i think they have a spicy ketchup chip as well oh that i think i've seen yes yeah was there not a balsamic vinegar one? I think I like oh, that. My, that the yeah. it's yeah the yeah the I think it's like it's malt vinegar or something like that. That one is unbelievable. But then they've got a couple flavors I don't like that much, which is like sour cream and onion. Mm. That one I don't care for. I don't really like their barbecue all that much, and they're like it's like apple like applewood smoked. I'm not into the smoked barbecue chips. Yeah. It's almost too sweet. Hmm. Even the honey Dijon, that's what you said you like. Like, I, I don't like those flavors. Much. Yeah, the honey, it's a little too sweet for me, the honey yeah. Dijon. Hmm. Now, are there any other kettle brand that come to mind? Because I, it's like I see, they, they have all, like a lot of funky flavors, but I don't, like there's one that's like, is it like an avocado one with lime or something like that? All I know is that the bags are very hard to open. Hmm. <laughs> that's true, but... You know, last year they had these three new flavors that came out, including the one that I love, habanero and lime. They have a dill pickle one that's quite good. I think it's very crunchy and bolder, mm -hmm. but they also have a truffle, truffle okay. chip. And that is tasty. Like I have, you know, had truffle chips like European brands, like I know yes. like Italian brands, Spanish brands, and they were always so like, you barely tasted it. I don't know. I didn't know what a truffle taste was supposed to be mm -hmm. like. But these kettle truffles are something else. I bring those at parties to impress people. Does it work? I think so. Because people don't seem to have bought them a lot. Like, it's a good thing for an apéro. You know, you're eating all sorts of other things. A little cold cut, charcuterie, olives, and a little okay. truffle chip. Yeah, is you're, really if you're getting good. fancy, maybe a fancier chip. Yeah, exactly. We'll do service and where you land on the uh, the social scale. And I'm impressed because, you know, those European ships were like $7, $8 a bag. But I don't know how much truffle oil there is because there's a lot of salt. They're quite salty. But well, Marilyn, you, you talked about the the um, 
Italian flavors. There's a lot of like French brands, Burt's. Mm -hmm. They make a very crispy chip. It's a very light, crispy crunch, but it's not a thin chip. There's all sorts of brands that I, I like to peruse at the Atwater market. And thank so you for that picture that you send me one day. I, I look at it before going to bed sometimes, James. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. Folks, it was a picture of chips. Um, <laughs> how do we feel <laughs> about the prices of chips these days? Too high. Chips have gotten very expensive. If you're buying Depener chips, you're a crazy person. I agree. Mm -hmm. I am very sad, and I, I actually added this to my calendar. I They have, like, you know, kettle chips go on sale, like, on a rotation between, like, different grocery stores. But near me, the grocery stores that I like are Valmont. And now I've written it down. They have a Super Bowl special every year now where the chips are three bucks a bag, two for six bucks. But I now, are you Are you loading up during that time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. How many yeah. bags of chips will you buy at a time? Do I have to say? I Probably 10. That's not that bad. It's like a, I have like a space, a cupboard <laughs> just for these 10 bags. That, look, here's, this is the thing. I've talked to my mother about this. You know you're going to buy these things on repeat. So what's the problem in buying many of them? It seems like with snacks or sweets, like there's this shame attached, but it's not like you're going to eat 10 bags in one sitting. Well, that's, you know, Dave mentioned it earlier. They're salty. They're probably not that good for you. And one of the reason I really got into this flavor is because they're hot. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I cannot eat the whole bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I've developed a tolerance. <laughs> But I mean, I really hold back and I hope that I will never eat like a whole bag in a sitting. But I'm just saying like, that's the thing. Like chips are not really that healthy and I should be eating more of my meal instead of more chips. You know sure. what I mean? But I think, look, when it comes to portion control, I can have a bag of chips in my home for more than a week. Go to the bag, have a few and stop. Because I I, I'll tell you what, I get fed up of having like dirty fingers. I, I get annoyed by that. And I, I'll tell you what, I'm not a finger licker. Sickening. Well, hot take. I eat my chips with a fork because what? you can grab them in the middle and you don't make your fingers dirty. Oh, I use and chopsticks. It, oh, and it, it takes longer to eat. Wow. Okay. This, I eat my chips with a fork. <laughs> now the chopsticks makes incredible sense. More than a fork? I think so because it. <laughs> I'll tell you why. With a chopstick is meant to like its its primary like use is to lift, right? A fork, it's got a, it's got I would say split primary uses. Usually, a fork you're meant to stab. So when I think fork, I think stab. When I think lift, I think spoon. Mm. But I actually don't. You know, I don't. Yes. Like, you are going to clean the tongs. Exactly. I grab it, but yeah, now, I don't destroy my chip. With a has anyone invented a chip grabbing apparatus or device, kind of like mini tongs or something? Oh, like I've seen on TV. I'd love to see that. Let's yes. Yeah. Like, I feel like that would be something that it would have been huge in the 90s. Mm. I like that we veered off. I will say, though, if anyone is looking for deals on chips, they're always on sale at Super C. But they don't have what brands do they have? Like they're very okay. limited. In in fairness to your taste, Marilyn, they they're they don't have kettle, but they've got all of like they've got Lay's, Ruffles, generic, Doritos, Tostitos, um, Sun Chips. They've been they've been, like, you know, uh Meli Melo. <laughs> they've got party mix. They've got oh. everything but kettle. Okay, you said Meli Melo, and actually I'm thinking Takis. Our talking okay. chips. Uh, we brought let, Ringolos. Let's get into they're this now. Rolled up, they're just rolled up tortilla chips. Let's get into <laughs> it now. The next thing I've got on my list is Doritos and tortilla chips. Now, to me, and I've had this discussion with friends, personally speaking, in private. This isn't a discussion about potato chips. This is a discussion about chips. So as long as it features the word chip we're fine which is why i brought up is a ringolo a chip or is it a ringolo getting back to it 
How do we feel about Doritos or their uh, their perhaps lesser known counterpart, Ariba chips, or of course the Takis? Let's start Takis. I've never had one. I've had, and I'm impressed because they have some hot flavors, and that's crunchy. But they, I, you know, I don't want to veer into like being crazy. They have extremely hot flavors. Like I don't want to yeah. waste my money because I like spicy things, but I don't yeah. want to like, you know, lose my sense of taste. Mm, but, okay. But Did you I, ever, um, the the paki uh the paki chips they had like the one chip challenge because oh it yeah was, like, it comes it comes in the coffin yeah. Did, did a kid die? I think a kid died. <laughs> no, really. I'm sorry. It, it's late night, people. But I think a 13 year old kid died having that chip. I'm sorry. All right. Now that Dave is gone, I'm going to be doing the research. Uh, let, let's get. Have you had this uh, this death chip, Sarah? No, I was. I I've seen other people do it though. Okay. So none none of us have had the the pocky. Let's keep things going. How do we feel about Doritos? Personally. I think Doritos might be a chip that people are mostly unanimous on. It's beloved. Yeah. Classic Doritos are really good. I like the Cool Ranch, too. Cool Ranch is incredible. Yeah. I would never buy Doritos, but I'm happy when they have them at parties. Like, it's for me, that is too... I like to think that my other chips are more natural, and the, the ingredient list is too long on some of these Doritos. And a mm -hmm. lot of them actually contain like a bit of like milk products, which is not good for me. But, okay, it's true. But, but I like them because, okay, I'm going to be gross, but I will like slowly lick them. Like I will t lick the flavor off of it. And then I'll eat it sl more slowly. I'm sorry, but I don't do this wow. at parties, so I will not do this at a party. This so really reminds me of that that video that's gone viral a number of times, where there's that ice cream tester, and he's like explaining how you get all the flavors, and he's like, first you gotta like get it all over your mouth. That's what Marilyn is doing with chips, and I. And on that note, I'm happy to say that Dave is back. Hello, Dave. Yay. Did you leave to go get some chips? Yeah, I had to go to. Uh... Toronto. <laughs> no, <I didn't. laughs> that might have been before the show. I don't remember. Dave, but... what happened? What? Uh, what happened? My, my daughter had a difficult uh, bedtime that uh, okay. we needed support. Um, she probably wanted some chips. She probably, yeah. She likes chips. Now, I want to touch on something, Dave, to get you caught up. We're now in the Doritos portion Ooh. of the conversation, but we we briefly brought up the Packy. Marilyn had, this was that the chip, what? the one chip challenge, the the. It's the the Pakwi Paki. Yeah. How was it spelled, Sarah? You said it. You're the P A Q U I. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, how is it pronounced? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I in any event, Spanish. I think we can say it's Spanish. Takis are. Spanish. Well, no, no, this is the one with the P. You're talking about Takis? No, no, no this is a no. different one. I know, Look. but I thought it was the same brand who made this. It's not Marilyn had heard. Oh, Guys, I don't know about this. <laughs> that this extremely hot chip it's caused Sarah. a death. Yes. Okay. A single, very spicy tortilla chip known as the One Chip Challenge has been voluntarily pulled off of shelves in the U.S. and <clears> Canada. <throat> After a Massachusetts teen died of complications related to consuming the hot chip. Okay. One chip and he dead? One chip. Fuck. When 14 year old, I'm not going to say the kid's name, ate the chip at school last week, he died hours later. But on the back of the box, it does read that it's meant for adult consumption and should well, be kept away from kids. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Dave, this, Dave, this is victim blaming. Um, the yeah, I don't even want to really. But... Let's move on. This yeah. uh, I wish I hadn't brought this chip back to light. Um, getting into it. So Marilyn, you will only lick the cheese powder off of Doritos. <laughs> no, but I'm what? saying like, yes. but Dave, hold on. You also missed earlier. <laughs> Marilyn eats chips with a fork. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Sarah eats them with chopsticks. It's just, and, and at, James said he doesn't like to lick his fingers. We're giving him solutions. No, he lets me do that. 
<laughs> what happened to this episode? Beat. I'm accidentally saying inappropriate things. Kids are dying. Dave's licking my fingers, and uh, Marilyn's eating uh, chips with forks. Lovely Monday night. It's a freak yes, it is show. a lovely Monday night. Dave, talk to me about Doritos. I mean, I like them. Uh, you look like a guy that loves Doritos. <laughs> hey. Uh, I do love Doritos. I think, uh, you know, it's interesting. I would get uh, these veggie straw chips for my daughter under the guise that those are slightly healthier than Doritos. But it turns out Doritos are healthier than veggie straws. So now I'm just like fully like, oh, just have some Doritos. <laughs> well, we all grew up eating trash. We'd have Frosted Flakes for cereal. Then we'd go to school and eat uh, peanut butter sandwiches and uh, chase it with Dunkaroos and a fruit roll up. With a sunny delight. We're all fine. Not me. Well, Dave, you look like a guy who loves those lunches. I uh, I would never be allowed to eat any of that stuff. Well, maybe that's why you're lashing out now and having a lot of it. It could be. It could be. A, this is uh, this body's be acting out. Um, Sarah, let's go to you. Outside of the Cool Ranch Doritos, what else? <laughs> um, I mean, the classic, honestly. I, there's a couple of the spicy ones, but I'm not... Super. Sweet chili heat. Sweet chili heat's great. It's, it's it's not something I gravitate towards. They had one that was like an avocado lime that was like, oh, the guacamole's on the chip. Yeah, but it wasn't was like, it wasn't strong enough. It, it was very because I said this that I think that Doritos pound for pound is the brand of chip where everyone under the umbrella is good. Where people are like, yeah, I only like this one. Most people like all the Doritos. Mm. But some are better than others. I, I some are way better than I others. I want to bring this up. Do I, it. I feel like, uh, based on what you're saying, pound for pound, best uh, best flavors on a chip brand, I think Miss Vicky's were bad. Dave, I'm sorry. We discussed Miss Vicky's already. <laughs> but I just want to say this, though. I think that they, they started off real hot with their flavors, and then they've been adding in flavors that just aren't as good as the other flavors. Recently. I agree. They've been diluting every, their brand. Yes. I, we, 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 now, Dave, we talked about this. You said dilution? We talked about dilution, but there was like, it was like, yeah, we like this one, but I don't know about this one. Doritos, let's go down the line. Everyone loves the regular. People seem to be on board with the sweet chili heat. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch, I think, might win a popular vote with the best Dorito. I'm not a huge Cool Ranch guy. I'll say this. Worst Dorito, maybe? 3D. Oh, the like the poppers. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but okay, fair enough. Now, how do we feel about... I, I had never had them up until a month ago. I couldn't... Someone brought them to my house. I couldn't get enough. The barbecue Doritos. Oh. You wouldn't think it. You'd look at it and go, well, I don't want this. But then you have it. The purple bag Doritos, and you're like, wow, this is awesome. I'm saying it. Now, has anyone had the nacho cheese Doritos, which I thought they were that already? That gross. Have you had them? No, I thought they already, that's a good point. They are nachos. Yeah, they are, <laughs> but there's nacho cheese Doritos. I haven't had them, no. Had it, has anyone had the ketchup chip Doritos? Yes. They're awesome. Those are good. Dollar store, uh, Dollarama, great place to buy Doritos. Now this is it, we talked about chip prices being out of control you can get great deals on chips for Doritos at the Dollarama. You can sometimes get three bags of Doritos for nine bucks at Super C. That's pretty good. I love. I think Doritos might be the best. Because I mean, you talked about it already, but a regular bag of chips is like six bucks, five bucks now. Well, where though? You sounds like you're buying them at the Depener, the grocery store. Which grocery store? You must be shopping at IGA. I am. Yeah. There we go. Have people had the Ariba, the other cheesy tortilla chip? <laughs> they're not bad. They're not bad. What about tacky? Well, that's Sarah brought the tacky up. I've never had a tacky. Oh, you got to try it, man. Are they that good? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're crunchy. They're crunchy. And and we might as we might as well put David back uh, on the subject. If takis are a chip, are Ringolos a chip? No. Ah, why not? <laughs> Because, because hold on, the Taki is a tortilla chip. Ringolos aren't called ring chips. They've been processed too much, and then they're like Ringles have been processed. That's true. 
but it's a potato chip. That's also well, true. Well, the Ringolos have potatoes. Actually, we wanted somebody to look it up. Like, what's the ingredients for Ringolos? I think it's still potato. Here's what I'm, I'll say this, though. Pringles taste like a chip. Ringolos, they don't taste like a chip. Yeah, they taste like a Ringolo. <laughs> they taste like a Ringolo. They're too Okay, thick. so let's do... I, I, things that aren't chips that are in the chip world. I'm going oh. off the board here. You said Mili Milo. Oh, yeah. yeah I, uh, that's crazy. There's pretzels in there. There's like cheese. Pre pretzel is a pretzel in the chip world. It's a snack. Are we going to chips or snacks? Yeah. I got one. I'll wait for you to finish though. Oh. No, go. About a, what about uh, crisper? Crispers, yeah. Oh, they're, crispers are awesome. They're not chips. They're not crackers. They're crispers. They're different. They don't fit into your simplistic paradigm. I wouldn't call a crisper a chip. They don't call them chips either. Yeah, because it, there's weed in them. I just had them last week for the first time. There's weed in them. <laughs> yeah. Weed. Dave is Dave is returned in full force. Making up for lost time. Yeah. Wait, but then if wheat isn't if wheat doesn't count, then are sun chips not chips? No, because sun chips are chips. Crispers have potato flour in them as well. I but, just wanted to see this. But sun chips, they taste like chips. Yeah, they're yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a Ringolo doesn't taste like a chip. It tastes like its own thing. It's like eating a bowl of nuts or popcorn. Ringolos are chip adjacent, and here's the one I was going to bring up before. Yeah, they're chip adjacent. That's uh, true. Bugles, chip adjacent. Oh, Bugles rule, though. Bugles are good. You yeah. And here's the thing about Bugles and Ringolos. Maybe you can we'll use them as, uh, <laughs> as the hand decor. Yeah. Imagine doing uh, a uh, Ringolo followed by a Bugle. Is a Bugle a chip? No. Dave, Google it. Is a bugle a chip? Don't have to, James. <laughs> well, you know what I'm doing. It's continued also, I believe. They don't exist in America anymore, bugles. Really? Oh. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, or maybe Got it's canceled by the woke mob. Canada. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> what started in 1964 as the first delicious horn shaped corn chip. According to General Mills, bugles are chips. Because if we're saying those Lay's poppables or whatever they are is a chip, then the bugle is a chip. But I wouldn't say a poppable is a chip. Because that's a different thing. It's a crispy, crunchy snack. But if, if the company's calling it a chip, is that enough for us to define it as a chip? Hey, look, I call my turds roses sometimes. Doesn't mean that it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean that they are. might be... <laughs> One you... of the top three worst things I've ever heard. <laughs> Your use of, of that word sickened me. Roses? No. <laughs> Can you look up Ringolos? What's their a catch for? All right, let's 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 find it. Let's find it out. Is a Ringolo a what chip? Does the internet say please. Wow your taste buds with Ringolos. The fun to eat poppable rings. Nope. Nope. I mean, it's full of potato. Dehydrated yeah. potatoes, potato starch, vegetable oil, salt, sugar, corn starch. It's, look, I just don't think it's a chip. Are roasted potatoes chips? No. Exactly. <laughs> oh. So, so does the shape matter? Well, look, if we're saying a rolled up hacky is a chip, then no. <laughs> Shape matters a little bit. Everything matters a little bit. That's the thing. It's not like a, it's a, it's like the culmination of things. It could be a bunch yeah. of one thing. Okay, well, okay. So what about um, Fritos? Those are chips. Fritos. Yeah. They're Those like the... kind of curly and, uh, and, and uh, yeah. Not a chip. That's it. It's a corn chip. No, nah, it's a corn. It's a chip adjacent. No way. It's a, it's a, it's a crisper with some movement, right? So like Cheetos would be a chip? No, Fritos are, uh, Cheetos aren't chips. Let me look up what a Frito is even. Fritos works because it's crunchy. Bro, a Frito like, is right? a corn. Fritos, an American brand of corn chips. I might just not know what Fritos are well enough. What were you thinking they were? Let me see. Yeah, I was thinking of uh, Fritos uh, flavor twists. All right. Okay. Funyuns. Funyuns, not a chip. 
Funyuns is in the it's chip adjacent. It's like a ringolo. I would say that like cheesies, Cheetos, any type of like spongy, like it's not a chip. What about the julienne chips? The yum yum. What oh, are they? That, that's a chip. Like <laughs> hickory sticks. That's a chip. They're because like this is the thing. Those are basically just the bottom of the bag of a chip. Bottom of bottom of the bags of chips. You just get like the little tiny pieces. Hmm. Now, have are there any chips that we have not thrown into the ether that deserve some love? Uh, micro chips. <laughs> yeah, friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Paint Chippendales exotic dancers. Chocolate have we chip. have we truly discussed all the chips? No, wait, I'll be back. There's one chip I mentioned last time. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, understood. <laughs> no, no, but second mean, exit, second exit tonight. The yuca chip. It's because I want to show you the bag. Yeah. I have a bag close. A yuca chip. Yep. So like a plantain yeah. chip or something like that. Yeah, but it's a different kind of thing. Plantain is the banana. Yucca is a different type of like root. It's a root. Thing. Yeah. I just want to show the package to Jimbo. Okay. Like, like those Terra Terra chips. That those are, like, are very good. Those are good. Thing. Those are nice. I also think. Are they chips though? Yeah, they're vegetable they're chips. Hot. I guess. Here we go. Oh, that's cute. So this is like. Yep. That thing. And you got the spicy one? Yep. So it's a bit fibrous. It's a bit like a potato, but the it's a bit more airy and fibery. It's a rutabago. So just like Sarah said, that bag of chip there, the Mediterranean... Oh my god, I can't say that word. That has all these different roots in it. The purple one, the white one. Like Those are chips, right? Do they count as chips? Yeah, they're crunchy. So. You said no? I think so. Like you a plantain so? chip is a chip. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have any underrated flavors that maybe other people don't enjoy that we enjoy? I'm going to throw one in right now. Friend of the show, Vance Gillis, introduced me to the Ruffles. Um, sour cream and bacon. Oh. On paper. Would not <coughs> like it. I ate it. I've got a bag in my pantry right now. Interesting. I like the sour cream and onion ruffles. Yeah, that's that was a that's a classic ruffle is the sour cream and onion. Yeah. There's a that lot of their... Go ahead. Oh no, I was just saying that and the old the all dressed ruffles. Oh yeah. Those are the ruffles for me. A classic chip of the nineties. There's a lot of interesting uh Asian flavors of chips. Oh yeah. Uh, cucumber. Mm. A lot of them are Lay's, actually. C yep. Cucumber well, Lay's. We did an entire episode doing uh, taste tests. That's right. December 2020 on the uh, show. Me and Dave went to a grocery store, found a bunch of Asian flavored, or not Asian flavored, but Asian uh, chips with different flavors. <laughs> mm. Despicable. Man, I'm on a roll tonight. Um, <laughs> and we taste tested them on the air. And cucumber, it was and you wouldn't believe what happened next. Hey, yeah, go back into the uh, the archives <laughs> to, yeah. to to see how our taste buds exploded on the air. Yeah, I like the cucumber ones. Yeah, they were good. Refreshing. I, be I believe we also had milk. Yeah, milk, honey. Yeah, yeah. I the milk one was disgusting. Yep, it was almost like cot cotton <coughs> candy ish. Yeah, it was sweet, sweet milk. Yeah. Yeah. We need to well while we're talking about this, what's the funkiest flavor that you had? I will say this this summer, there's a brand that's out there. They have them at the Atwater Market, Sabersmiths. Mm. It's a British brand and they have pretty funky uh, flavors. Like one of them is Italian wine and cheese. Yeah. You know? and this is like with like the interesting um like imagery on the bags, right? Yeah, like, like it's like kind honey, of shiny. Honey mustard wagyu beef. Yes, but the other one is champagne and sereno pepper wow and, and it's Romantic. basic no but it's basically like having a pop rock it will fizzle in your mouth it's a really weird thing to interesting to, to happen yeah i had that over the summer i did okay it's just curious you keep having it because you're like interested about you, you know with this texture and just like it's it's funky do you get a little tipsy <laughs> i did not 
get pulled over. Yeah. Ma'am, how many bags of chips have you eaten tonight? Uh oh, guilty. <laughs> not saying number, just guilty. No, no number. They give you a breathalyzer and have you do a, a road sobriety test. Walking in a straight line while reciting the alphabet backwards. Sarah, any any uh, random flavors that you want to throw into the mix? The unloved chips Ooh. of the <laughs> Unloved. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big. I'm pretty standard. I don't like. I don't even like salt and vinegar or ketchup that much. Man. Yeah. I'm throw. I'm gonna throw another random one in. The pizza flavored Pringles. Ugh. Oh come on. Oh wait, there's like a maple bacon president's choice that I I was kinda into. Wow. If we ever do part two, it'll be just generic flavors. Yes, yeah. but it's true. President's Choice, I think, had a Korean something that I enjoyed mm. as well. They President's have... Choice, you can't yeah. accuse them of not trying things. That's right, yeah. It's also like a meat flavor too, like uh roasted chicken or uh mm. yep. mm. well, Act... I remember every year Lay's would come out with like random ones. To me they always just tasted like barbecue. <laughs> And I just have to mention, you know, because your mom even did some research, James, for me, my yes. favorite chips ever were the Tyrell Sunday Roast. Mm -hmm. Like amazing juicy chicken flavor. Like that was. <laughs> That's why Marilyn eats them with a fork. <laughs> juicy chicken flavor. Yes. <laughs> On a dry they chip. <laughs> I know. They ta it tasted juicy. It was amazing. Well, that's in my memory anyway. And now that if I understand, if I remember correctly, rather, they're discontinued. That's it. Yeah. Wow. You can only believe my word for it, it seems like, for now. They live well, on in your memory. Yes. Coming in from the chat, High Score Run writes, how about Lay's Cappuccino flavor? Are we ha are we being had here? Did they, did they do this? Or that's something that's from Japan. Did really? that never yeah. exist it here? It could be. It could be. Dave's Dave's going to it. It exists. There you go. Are they sweet? They they must be some type of like malty, maybe. They came out with these other flavors: mango salsa, bacon mac and cheese, and uh, wasabi ginger. That was the uh, the release Ooh. line of that year. Okay. Five I'm stars. Throw last, I'm throwing the last four in one in Monster Munch. Has anyone had the pleasure of having Monster Munch? The ones that are <laughs> like little pods? Little little ghosts and wow. So crispy and crunchy. Very easy to eliminate the bag in one sitting. Oh, I've never I don't even know what it looks like. I will At, at Water Market, Marilyn. They've got them. They are now restocked. What about Monster Energy Drink? Oh, the worst. Lay's is doing a collab though. Monster Energy Drink flavored potato chips. They're gonna be uh, juicy. Yeah. Woo! Now here's the final question: Is anyone gonna have some chips after this show ends? Because I might go buy a new bag of chips. I might go buy some Vickies. Not me. I like my weekly bag of chips is open. I open it on Monday at lunch. You know, depending on how my yeah. morning was. I've had only about ten. Maybe okay. I'll have one for the posterity. Okay, Sarah, will you be eating any chips tonight? Um, I think I have some tortilla chips and salsa. Nice. Now, Dave, you're saying you're not having any chips. You look like a guy that loves chips. I do love chips, but I, if I keep them in my house, I finish them too quickly. Okay. All right, so you only like chips 7 on 10? Me? Yeah. 6 on 10. All right, well... <laughs> On that note, it's... This conversation made me realize I don't like them that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done it, guys. We've uh, discussed chips for uh, roughly an hour. We did it. They said it couldn't be done. Well, Dave, you didn't discuss it for an hour. You left for a long, long chunk of the of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, but I was here in spirit. And that's true. The spirit of Dave... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. ...wanders over us in and out of frame. That's right. I'll always be watching the show, James. Well, God, on that morbid note, I want to thank all of our guests for being here tonight. And as mentioned previously, on this show, the best flavor of chip is friendship. For all of our guests, <laughs> I am James. You are you. We were here. Good night, goodbye, farewell, and of course, 
Be well. Mm-hmm.